Welkom hier in de Buitenpoort in uh, Hussen. Um, we gaan een interview doen met uh, de Band of Friends hier naast mij. Marcel Scherpenzeel, Jerry McAvoy, Ted McKenna. Former members of, uh, of, the, of the Rory Gallagher Band. Amongst others. Amongst others. <laughs> um, first of all guys, um, uh, how are you doing? Doing pretty good, yeah. yeah everything's good. Uh, we've had a good start to the year. Um, we played the UK. I think that was it. Played the UK and then we're playing here. Uh, we go to Greece next. Uh, then we we'll do a German tour, German and Belgium. So it's all it's all looking pretty good. Better take money if you go to Greece. Huh? Um, there are some rumors that you guys are working on a CD. Is that is there something true? Yeah, we zijn bezig einde dit jaar of volgend jaar om er eentje uit te brengen. Dus we zijn druk aan de gang. Ja. Mooi. Ja. Zijn er al plannen voor eigen nummers? Uh, 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 alleen mijn eigen werk. Ja. Alleen eigen werk. Ja. Ja. Wat doe je dan? Ik just ik just asked if any plans for uh, for own songs. <laughs> no, but it's are there. Uh, you, you're going to do your own work also. We 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 actually started uh, we started working on it last year. We uh, did some rehearsals in in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we just come up with an idea of, uh, you know, in bands, I mean, normally one guy brings a song and everybody tries it and so on and so on. That's the, time, that, that's the tested way that's been done for, for, you know, for years. But we just thought, well, let's just get together. Because Bob Dylan did this uh, years ago. He, he just uh, got the band together and, and just went down and, and just recorded stuff. And, and, and without writing stuff, you know, and everybody sort of gelled it together. So we're trying that. It's an experiment, you know. But what, what happens? It takes slightly longer, as you can imagine, because obviously you have to. Uh, you, you, we're not land. We lay down the lines when we're there. So you write the lyrics when you're there. You, you know, so on and so on. You know. So, but it's it's great. You know, it's it's it's, it's a nice experiment. Hopefully later this year or maybe next year, early next year we'll have it. Uh, we'll finish it. We're looking forward. To that. What the hell? So, you you are going to add something to the heritage of uh, of Rory Gallagher, definitely. Um, what do you mean? If you if you are, um, um, I guess you're the 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 album you're going to make or the CD you're going to make is going to be uh, in the in the in the style of Rory Gallagher, I suppose. I think, it, I think it's going to be in the style of the three of us. You know, I don't think we're trying to make it in any other style except the way we play. When we play together, I don't. Th I think it would be a mistake to say that we were going to try to make it like anything other than what it is. Uh, I don't think you create good music unless you play it completely honestly, you know. Um, so whatever it is that it turns out to be, is uh, is, ho is hopefully going to be uh, accepted, and uh, it certainly won't be a million miles away from what a million miles away from the uh, the, the, the 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 basic style of the music that we play. Uh, I don't think it's going to go that far away from that, but it, uh, it, it will just be, it'll be the band of friends. Really. I mean, there's so many, obviously Rory's a big influence as well, you know, I mean, on, on Marcel, and, and we play with Rory, and, but obviously there's other, I mean, Ted's played with, he's got a list as long as your arm, you know, and so there's lots of influences in there, you know, coming from Ted, coming from Marcel, coming from myself, you know, so it'll, it'll be, it's an interesting experiment. As I said, we're looking forward to it, <laughs> to the result of that. And in, indeed, Ted, you, you've been playing with Michael Schenker, I think, and I remember you playing with the, the sensational Alex Harvey band. I saw them a long time ago. Was it? it wasn't that long ago, was it? It was, <laughs> I, th I think it was in the 70s. But you're a young man. Yeah. Um, I th it, was, it was in the 70s. Uh, 72, 72 till 77, the band was together. Zal Clemenson was the gu guitar player. It was very good, I thought. Yes, yes, yeah, a very original, very original player. And you did, uh, you played with Michael Schenker also? Played with Michael Schenker, um, 
played with uh, Gary Moore as well and, and Greg Lake, and I played with Ian Gillen from Deep Purple. So I worked through a few different, lots of gu loud guitar players, loud guitar players. You use the word. <laughs> okay. And very good guitar players. Very good guitar players. And been meaning to ask you guys or maybe maybe it's difficult to ask but uh, what would be your favorite Rory Gallagher album Marcel Colin cards for me yeah you you I read somewhere that you that was your first real yeah, it was the, fir the first album what, what my father uh, what my father is uh, in Nederlands doing uh, yeah we're switching to Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> nee, dat was inderdaad uh, van mijn vader het eerste album wat ik te horen kreeg van Rory Gallagher en het was uh, Calling Cards. En toen was ik wel verkocht. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. And you, It's a difficult one for me because I played on all the albums, you know. And um, I mean, I yeah, you played on all, all of them, all of them, eh? A single one, yeah. Um, I, the early albums, the, the Rory Gallagher album and the Juice album, I, I love the freshness. Of those albums, you know, because it, 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 there's, there's there's the magic of surrounds. It was like London in the early 70s, you know, and it was we recorded the albums during the spring, and there was just something about it. Not at all the albums. I love when when Ted came in, you know, it it it, it got a bit rockier, and I, I like that as well, you know, with top priority and photo finish and and uh, but it's difficult for me to say which which is my favorite, you know. I mean, it's, I've got lo loads of favorites. They're all good. Ted, do you have a favorite one? Well, it has to be uh, photo finish. I mean, it's it's obviously it brings back a lot of memories when I first joined the band, but it was um, it's an album that I, I really like a lot, and there's material on it. For instance, uh, Overnight Bag, which uh, it, you know always brings back great memories of working with Rory, and it's what about it's what um, the songs really what what being on the road's about and and uh, I think that's one of Rory's best songs that he did on that album for me it's one of the best yeah. so I'd say that's my favorite album yeah not just because I'm on it but <laughs> because it, it happens to be obviously obviously um <laughs> With uh, with the, the 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 Gallagher family, with Donald Gallagher and yeah, and the yeah, we, the, uh, the last time I met Donald was at uh, sadly enough Lou's Lou Martin his funeral last year he passed away, um, so so we caught up with him there at, at the uh, the funeral here yeah, so. Hmm. Okay, um, so tonight you're going to play here in uh, in Houston. Mm -hmm. You've you've been um, playing here with Nine Below Zero. Uh, you you have Jerry, yeah. Um, I, remember, I remember the uh, the cushions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's something to remember. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. It is. Um, nine below zero. You're not playing with them anymore. No, no, that's, that's that's finished now. They've uh, they've got um, uh, new bass players. One of the original guys that played with them, a guy called Brian. I forget his second name. Sorry. But anyway, they're 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 still playing. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now that's that's and and Marcel, your Wolfpin doesn't exist anymore. Your, your first band or your original band is now in the freezer. Even yeah, is in the freezer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see, I thought it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's shivering here. No, it is not to combine. We reizen veel and ook met de verschillende promoters werken we mee. Dus dat is gewoon niet meer. Ja, je kan niet zeggen van dan kan ik wel en dan kan je niet tegen werken aan met een hoop mensen. Dus Nee, dit is uh, Band of Friends is, uh, mm -hmm. is het project. Oké. Okay. Okay. Um.
you, you've been working with with a lot of uh, loud and good guitars. Uh, <laughs> how did he compare with, uh, let's say, Michael Schenker? How did he compare with uh, Rory Gallagher? Was he influenced by Rory Gallagher, by the way, that you know of? Um, to be honest, I never really spoke to him about Rory. I don't, I don't remember. He's very. Michael Schenker's a very. Um, I think he's a great guitar player. He, he has a very, very original style, from my point of view. Um, I don't think... Uh, the, the, the experience was completely different. When I worked with Rory, after working with the Sensational Alex Harvey Band, the change in the, the intensity and the, and the energy level of the playing was quite a shock to me because I was... You know, I'd been around, I'd been playing for years before the Sensational Alex Harvey Band, and then I'd recorded and toured and, and basically was at a certain level where I felt quite comfortable with my playing. But when I joined Rory, it was a completely different dynamic. Mm -hmm. And the energy level just went up like this. Uh, and, you know, I don't think I was ever as fit as I was uh, when I was working with Rory. The Schenker style of music is a different kind of thing. It's heavy, but it's not as intense. Um, th it doesn't have that uh, fireworks side of it, you know. Uh, that Rory had. Um, okay, it's very hard to compare them because um, <coughs> Michael has a um, Rory style was very blues based. Obviously, it's a blues, blues and blues rock and, and other styles in their country and things like that. Whereas Michael's is really quite a rock guitar player with classical and classical the way he structures his guitar solos and things like that. It's a, it's a classical kind of uh, approach sometimes. So completely, completely different styles. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I agree. Did you ever, uh, did you ever played with Les Harvey, uh, Alex's brother? Um, I don't think I may have done it some point very very early on, but uh, I used to go and see the Power. But there was a band called the Power with Maggie Bell, oh, yeah. Jimmy Dewar, uh, Les Harvey, uh, Colin Allen, who joined uh, <coughs> Focus. Colin Allen on drums, <coughs> but uh, they became Stone the Crows. Uh, so, and the first gig, the first real sh gig that the Sensational Alex Harvey Band did, we supported Stone the Crows with Maggie Bell in Glasgow in what was the Apollo, but on, on a 2,000 seat uh, club above the Apollo. So, it was quite I have fond memories of him. But he died very shortly after that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was elect electrocuted, I think, on, on a stage. I think in Bristol or so. Uh, Swansea. Oh, okay. He was a very good guitar player, yes. I don't know. All right. Yeah, let's let's finish the the, the interview. It's okay. We I think we had you have what we want to wanted to get. Um, thank you all, and um, good luck tonight. And we're we're both looking forward to it. Jerry and me are lo both looking forward to it. Thank, Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Thanks a lot.